Some modifications to tasks and a very interesting new ballistics bug, maybe, in today's Newsy News. Good morning, everyone. My name is OnePeg. In today's news, we're going to talk about some task changes and an interesting piece to the ballistic system that Veritas discovered. Prior to today, the task Grenadier required that you got 12 PMC kills with grenades. A kind of a pain in the ass task unless you really cheesed it and kind of hid up in certain places. But that has been reduced. It is now eight. The reason why this one tends to be as important as it is, aside from the desire for people to get Kappa, is that it unlocked 762 by 39 BP per the 12 12 30 changes when they implemented some shuffling of rewards. The task capturing outposts, which in my opinion is probably the worst task in the entire game to attempt to complete based on how it's built, requires that you eliminate 15 PMCs in three different locations. The fortress on customs, the forward operating base or the scav base on woods out in the field, and the worst of the three, the pier on shoreline. And for those of you that haven't attempted this task, here's why this is such a pain in the butt. The Customs Fortress and the forward operating base on Woods were both relatively well-traveled. They have a lot of valuable loot points. There's stims, for instance, in the forward operating base, things like Meldonan stims and whatnot that you need for samples could easily be found there. Lots of Salewa kits. It's a really good spot for a lot of good meds. And then on Customs, the Fortress, again, well-traveled, has Rochelle and the guys that spawn there. You have the ability to be able to loot weapons crates, lots of good food items. It's a common place to find moonshine. Valuable stuff to be found in both of those locations. But, but the pier, the pier in this case is the problem. The pier on Shoreline only really has three, four reasons, if you count the extraction, to go there. The extraction is never lit. There's no way to know whether or not the extraction is available to you. It used to, so you would have to go there and check and see if you could leave by the boat. And you only know that if you saw a timer. The other three reasons are task related find the trading outpost, find the bodies on the ground. There's only three tasks in the relatively early game, maybe early, early mid game that would bring you there. Other than that, there's a couple of filing cabinets, a couple of safes, and you have a couple of PCs. It is not a high desired loot point. The only reason why people ever really actually go there is for those three early game tasks. Oh, and technically, there's a Sanitar spawn, but not enough. Not enough. So unless you're literally Trey or Rangor or one of these guys that gets the Kappa container inside of the first two to three weeks of a wipe, at least at current speed, you have no desire to go there. Then since they added the flares, people were using flares to try and bait people with supply drops to come out to the pier. But that obviously has since been realized by the vast majority of the player base that is still playing right now. So no one goes there to get you baited. In fact, Velian did several streams where I think for like 10 hours, he just kind of sat and chilled in a chair and waited for people to come by, even though he was trying to bait them with supply drops and it didn't work. Anyway, anyway, this has since been adjusted. And instead of it needing 15 kills, you now only need 12. Now, I will say that this isn't enough for me. I think that this task should just be taken right out of the game, but I will take any improvement on this task over what it was. But to me, this is the difference between being told that you have a broken leg versus being told you have a broken finger. One of them is going to debilitate you a little bit more than the other, but they still both suck really, really bad. Last but certainly not least, and this will be very, very quick, I promise, Veritas did a video that I would encourage you all to go and watch. He did a bunch of testing based on a tip that he got from Desmond Pillick, who I would also recommend you guys go and watch. He's one of the best people that has ever played this game and does not get enough viewership, in my opinion. But he went into a lot of testing and came to the realization that bullets currently in the game do not fragment, at least not when they hit the stomach or torso. And if you're watching this, you're newer, I will give you a quick lesson on how this works. In Tarkov, every individual round of ammunition in the game has a lot of different statistics but we're going to focus for the purpose of this on three main stats damage penetration and fragmentation chance now the penetration value in order for a round to fragment in tarkov has to be above 20 we don't know how much above 20 some people say 24 some people say 20 it doesn't really matter it has to have at least 20 pen or it will not fragment and don't worry about why there's videos on that too by veritas you can go and watch them but just to compare two rounds for instance PPGS and BTGS 545, damage is 44 and 42, penetration value 36 and 40, so it will fragment, and this has fragmentation of 16 and 17%. So that means roughly one in eight rounds that you were to fire on somebody would fragment. A fragment is considered like a critical hit. 
it does 150% damage instead of just 100. So you would have the base 44 damage and then an additional 22 in the case of PP, for instance. Now that should happen about one out of eight times. However, through Veritas' testing, he was able to confirm and verify, at least for now, and we don't know whether or not it's a bug, that if you shoot someone in the chest or torso with any round in the game, it doesn't matter what it is, it will not currently fragment. Will not fragment. It only fragments when you shoot them in the legs or the arms. You have to get limb hits. That's the only time it will fragment. It does not fragment center mass. So for those of you that are saying you're getting 54 RBT one tapped to the chest, it's very likely that it fragmented hit your arm first, fragmented, and then hit your chest afterward because the radiating damage from the arm being blacked out and fragmenting at the same time would have radiated enough damage to the chest to then end up having you take the chest hit and kill you. Anyway, guys, that's what I have for this one. Please consider following the channel if you would be so kind at twitch.tv slash one peg. Please consider giving me a sub here. We're getting really, really close to 100,000. Would love to see that. And as always, please follow me on my socials at one pegmg on Twitter and at one peg on TikTok. Thanks so much. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.